we have been conditioned for so many janmas you know in the same cycle like in the olden days you have bullock carts carrying all the load from the market and uh, to the shop and things you can see on the streets back in your country now we don't have at least some 20 25 years back you can see bullock carts in every street so sometimes the bullock carts used to ride overnight the guy who is riding the bullock he will get up there he will sit there and sometimes he will snore off in sleep off but the bell guard he will see the and come to his house you know we don't have to their condition right they that's all it's very very difficult to break the conditioning because we are also conditioned like that for not one or two days for yoga you you guys but what is it eating meeting sleeping depending then you take another body what you do eating meeting sleeping depending again in the next body what you do eating the same thing whether you get a human body or a tree's body or a animal's body or deva's body or bhuta preta pishacha's body the job was only four ahara nidra vaya vayitunam samanyam etat pashuvir narana it is equal for a nara human and for a pashu it's all equal for a human and animal ahara nidra vaya vayitunam samanyam etat pashuvir narana dar mohitesho adiko vishesho what is the speciality in human he can think about dharma dharma nahi na if he doesn't think about his dharma pashuvir samana he is equal to animal animal do these things on the road we do it inside the flat that is all the difference they run with four legs we run on four wheels right we are also running like them only from morning to night right they are eating on the road so no, sometimes animals also eat in the flat and big big house <laughs> we also eat like that or the other they left over from the we eat up so eating is common producing children is common fighting is common we are worse than animals sometimes <laughs> everything is common now. so what is the difference between a human being and an animal dharmo hi desho adiko visesho he should think about dharma but if the person is not thinking about dharma then what is that dharma nahi na pashu bhi samana is equal to animal that is all. but simply is wearing shapti pant and walking that's all the animal don't wear dress there is no difference so purana explains human life is a deluxe edition of animal's life not thing right it's a deluxe edition of animal life. but animals are better they don't do in kulab zindabad and all you know like they don't fight okay we have formed a committee and this crow doesn't belong to the committee okay hatta there's no nothing like that right and very famous example given in the upanishad which everyone knows is that rice bag example there's a huge bag of rice the birds will come take four grains and they fly away animals will come they can take whatever they can hold in the mouth and they will leave finally the man will come he will carry the whole bag and go <laughs> right that's why in ishopanishad the first shloka what is the first shloka of ishopanishad isa isha vasya nilam sarvam yatkincha jagatyam jagatyena tekthena bhujila madhuda tasya svitanam everything belongs to lord isha Yamidam sarva. Everything belongs to the Lord, right? So human being is allowed to take whatever is necessary for him. Krishna has supplied for our needs, not for our greed. He supplied everything for the needs, not for the greed. So this life is not at all a disciplined one, right? like you how many of you got cars here car car only few <laughs> how many of you got cars okay almost everybody right 
You imagine driving a car here and back in Chennai, Tinagar, Adayar and all. Right? Which is really easy. Here. Because there is some discipline. So, our spiritual life is also like that. Unless and until there is discipline, spiritual life will be very, very difficult. Right? If somebody is track, there is potholes, and somewhere there is dirt, or there is that. So, even though people who are interested in spiritual life, they get confused because they don't have a leader. Yad yad acharati preshtha. If the leader practices, then all the common people will practice. So, it is the responsibility of all devotees to be the leaders and preach Krishna consciousness to others. If you want to be a leader, you should be a good follower. Then only you can be a leader. Otherwise it's all kaitava dharma. It is all cheating, cheater and the cheater. Right? In West Bengal, there was one pujari. He's a cheating guru. You know? He is just puja, showing vigraha, collecting money, going and sleeping. He is a cheating fellow, one guru. So he also had Gornitai deities. You know, you see Gornitai deities, how are they standing? With their arms raised, right? So he will show all the public, Ajav, Ajav, Deko, Gornitai, Bhagwan, hai, Paisa Chalao, you know, please put money. This is his whole program. Show the deity, take money. Show the deity, take money. Then when all the public leave, he will turn the deities face to face. Right? Amne Samne. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Vityananda Prabhu. You know, Samne Samne. Then he will tie mosquito net between their hands and he will sleep off under them. <laughs> under the mosquito net. It is tied between the hands of Gurmita. And he will ask, because he doesn't have faith in this. He is showing deities simply to make money. One day, unfortunately, he slept off. It became early morning, all the public came and they are watching Gornita and this fellow is sleeping with a mosquito net tied between their arms. You know, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's hand in all mosquito net tied. And they were all shocked. What is this? Then immediately one of his disciples came and said, Are, what a fortunate, fantastic pair person is my guru. For him to sleep, the Lord is holding the mosquito net. Wow. Right? This world is full of cheater and the cheater. Don't come and say Namaskar to Prabhupada and start chanting 16 rounds, you will end up in one of those other things. You know? There are so many imitation shops and there is one diamond shop also. And people will get misguided. But we cannot blame those people. They are also sincerely interested in practicing spiritual life. But they landed in the wrong place. So, this Acharya is following the Acharya and being disciplined is very, very important. Settle? Settle? Okay. So, so explain this topic. I need uh, five young students who are very smart, handsome, who are ready to be model on the Bhagavad Gita class today. Like five of you. Just uh, get up. Class class. Get up five students. Give them a big hand. Stand in the line. 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 Yeah, one more. Stand in the line. You are not in the line. Stand in the line. Yeah. Okay, everybody should see you. That's why. Yeah. Okay. Now, you great devotees, you should not open the eyes. I will be saying something, you have to simply do those things, but you shouldn't open your eyes. Promise? Promise? Paka? Close your eyes now. Go back. Completely close your eyes. You should never open till I say you open. Okay? Right. 
Now, you make three rounds clockwise. You have to rotate three rounds in clockwise direction. No one should open your eyes. Okay, stop. Now, you rotate anti-clockwise two rounds. Stop. Now point your four finger, right hand four finger towards northern direction. <laughs> Don't open the eyes. Don't open the eyes. Point your right hand four finger in the northern direction. Four finger, four finger. You should all point your four finger towards northern direction. <laughs> Okay, three, statue, none of you should move, okay? Now you open your eyes, don't move, open your eyes. Okay. So, this is the situation. They all wanted to do, but they don't know which is north, which is clockwise, and they are blind also. Right? Thank you very much. You can go back. Nice example. So, we look at them and we laugh. In the same way, devas look at us and laugh. These people know. What are you doing? Right? We are rotating clockwise. Somebody is rotating anti-clockwise. One is fellow pointing with things. He is telling, this Martha and this Swamiji is perfect. Only through this Swamiji I can go back to Godhead. Another fellow is telling, no, no, no. This Martha ji is perfect. I will fall at her feet. I will go back to Godhead. Another fellow is telling something like that, but nobody is sure what is right and what is wrong. That's why Prabhupada said the famous quote, blind leading the blind. blind. And two blind people, they will fall at something, right? So we are all blind people spiritually. We don't know which is north, which is south, where to point the fingers, how to turn, nothing. We are blind to blank. Not knowing anything, we will be giving big, big lectures. That's what goes on. So, we have to follow an Acharya. If you don't have a master, then life becomes a big chaos in spirituality. Is that clear? So, should we need to follow a spiritual master or not? Yes. yes. How many of you have got a spiritual master? Okay, almost everybody. Very good. So, it is very thought that it is essential to sincerely follow a spiritual master, right? That's why the shloka explains. Yadyada charati sreshta master comes down and spreads the holy name, everybody will be flow following them because they are showing the right path. Each one of us has got the spiritual thirst. We have got a spiritual thirst but generally people land up in a wrong place. Right? So Puranas explain each one of us is like a diamond. We are all diamonds. But what happens, this diamond is completely covered with the dirt and it is there with full of dirt. Right? So somebody is required to clean the diamond and cut it and make it in a proper shape. Right? And to cut a diamond, you cannot cut it with knives, you cannot cut it with iron, you cannot cut it with a copper, you cannot cut diamond with any other metal. What you need to cut a diamond? You need another diamond. Right? So we are all diamonds, but we are in dirt now. We need a spiritual master who is a diamond, he will come and cut. Then what happens? Then this dirty living entity is like a... Why can't we write on the board? 
Mitsubishi 350390. Anybody is here? Owner of this vehicle? Nissan Sunny 110490 Mitsubishi 350390 Another call Where did I stop? Diamond Diamond You need another diamond <laughs> You need a master. Very good. So you are all not sleeping. <laughs> so we need another diamond who is a spiritual master. Then he comes and chops you. Right? And when there is cutting, there will be little, little pain. When there is a training, there is a pain. Right? See, when the baby is born, we take them, we pull them, we drag them, make them walk. Right? Okay, chalo, walk. Walk, walk, we encourage. And the baby takes the pain. It is going through that learning process. Whenever there is a learning process, there is pain. When you are going to take the license for the car, you know, driving license, is it very easy? There is a lot of pain involved, right? See, realized people, no. It is realized, right? So there is a pain in the learning process. When the diamond is cut and made it in shape, there is a little pain. So in spirituality, there will be little pain. We have to simply to tolerate, right? What is the third shloka of Six Shashtaka? Rinadapi Suni Chena Rinadapi Suni Chena Amarina Amarina Yirtanya So when we are in Vaishnava community, when we are practicing spiritual life, definitely there will be a pain. Right? Don't get angry to the neighbor devotee, with the neighbor devotee. The pain is just the learning process. We should learn to tolerate. When some devotee hurt you, you smile. When somebody is blaming you, you smile. They don't serve puppet on Friday, you smile. Be happy. Right? So, we have to learn this process. There is little pain. We have to simply, because we are getting shape on us. Like the baby is tolerating, the mother is tolerating, we are getting shaped up. Then what will happen? We will turn into diamond. So, Prabhupada said, uh, this International Society for Krishna Consciousness, this organization is like a boat. And the boat, where the boat is moving, it is on the water, ocean, right? So in Samsara Sagara, in the material ocean, this boat is floating, it is moving. And Acharyas are driving the boat. They are taking the boat across the ocean. And you know the material ocean, it is full of waves. There will be waves in the ocean, right? So when there is waves, the boat will dis and you know, this will go that side, this side. Then what the devotees say, Are, this boat is not good all the time dancing this side, it's not stable. Okay, and they jump into the ocean. Is that a very intelligent thing to do? No, let the boat shake, no problem, it will reach the shore. Let there be difficulty in spiritual life, just tolerate, you will reach back to Godhead. Don't jump into the ocean back. That is the dangerous thing to do. Right? So right now, we are all the dirty, you know this, uh, what do you call that, uh, worm, which the stage before it turns into a butterfly. What is that stage called? <laughs> caterpillar. Uh, oh, okay. So we are all like caterpillar. Is the caterpillar a beautiful one? You know, you touch it, all sticky, sticky things will come. Some kind of jelly things, you know. It comes this side, that side. You don't know whether it is a stool or a blood. Everything looks the same, right? You touch it, it will be very sticky, sticky. Very funny, dirty stuff it is. But it builds a cocoon and it stays inside. And all the time, 
meditating and thinking. You know, Prabhupada has explained in the book called Nectar of Devotion how the caterpillar turns into a butterfly. 24 hours the caterpillar is thinking about its future, its freedom, the beauty, can fly around thinking about the bright future all the time and the sticky sticky funny thing stays inside the cocoon for 15 days. Then after the 15 days the cocoon breaks and a beautiful butterfly. Is there anyone here who doesn't like a butterfly? Who hates a butterfly? You know, we have never thought about it, but it's so nice. In Bangalore, you have a butterfly exhibition. You have been there? How many of you have been there? In Bangalore, butterfly exhibition? Oh, yeah, only very few. It's a huge glass house full of, you know, crows and crows of butterflies, millions of butterflies. So nice when you walk around, come and sit here, sit there, you feel like you're in a different world. You know, all it does. So, this dirty caterpillar meditated so much, tolerated patience, he developed patience and finally turned into the beautiful butterfly. Right? So right now, we are all the dirty stones, we are the caterpillar stage and on the progress we are, one day you see, you will turn into a very beautiful butterfly. Already so many of you are butterflies, right? Yeah. You can see, you can take your picture before becoming a devotee. You have your old picture, photograph, right? With Kapada Musha and all these things that look like a villain all the time. Right? Now you go and see your picture, you all look like Vaishnavasis. So handsome, majestic, royal. You take your old picture and see how you look like. Right? So hereafter, Matajis don't have to spend so much money in Lulu, that thing, body care, hair care and all. Cash are in this step, beautifully, everything will manifest. Right? So, we are in this stage. So we have to simply, simply tolerate that growing pain. That's all we have to do. Okay? Is that clear? Okay, we go to the next one. Chaturvarnyam Maya Srishtam Chaturvarnyam Maya Srishtam Chaturvarnyam Maya Srishtam Chaturvarnyam Maya Srishtam Guna Karma Vibhaga Saha Guna Karma Vibhaga Saha Guna Karma Vibhaga Saha Tasya Kartaram Abhima Tasya Kartaram Abhima Tasya Kartaram Vidya Kartaram Abhyayam Vidya Kartaram Abhyayam Chaturvanyam Maya Srishtam Una Karma Vibhaga Saha Asya Kartaram Abhima Vidya Kartaram so, here Krishna is explaining. Asya kartaram apimam, vidya kartaram apyayam. O Arjuna, even though I am the doer of everything, still I am the non-doer. I don't do anything in this world. So everything looks like Krishna only did this, Krishna did that, Krishna, but actually Krishna is telling, I am not doing anything. Everything is happening as per your guna and your karma. Something happens bad to you, it is because of your karma. Something happens good to you, that is also because of your karma. And according to the karma and guna, Arjuna, I create this varna. Chatur Varnyam Maya Srishta Arjuna, I create this four Varna Guna Karma Vipadasa based on the Guna and Karma. You know there are totally four Varnas. What are they? Ravana, Shatriya, Shudra. Okay. So these divisions and classifications are not as per birth. It is as per duty. It is as per karma. It is never as per birth. Jalmana, Jayate, Shudra. Every one of us by birth we are all what? Shudra. 
शूद्र विरोल शूद्र स्पाइबल जन्मना झायते शूद्र संकारे बावेत विजा वेद पढ़न्ती तक विप्रा ब्रह्म ज्ञाना थिति ब्राह्मणा when we all take birth we are all shudra samskare bhavet dvicha when you sit on that second sacred thread ceremony take up the second thread sacred thread then you are called dvicha twice born veda padanti tat vipra only when you open bhagavad gita and bhagavatam and read then you are called vipra then what after reading what you should do brahma jnana tithit brahmana you understand about brahman the god then we are brahmana if you don't understand god then no we are not brahmana every one of us is shudra so chatur varniyam maya srishtam guna karma vibhagasah so according to guna and karma these divisions are made imagine you know ashwatthama he is the son of dronacharya the great acharya so by birth ashwatthama is what brahmana or shudra is brahmana son so by birth he is brahmana okay dronacharya son then what he did in the battle somehow he got the news his father was killed in the battle by drushtadyumna father was killed dronacharya was killed he was so angry like a mad elephant he was fighting the whole day in the war but he couldn't defeat the pandavas he became so annoyed disturbed he went picked up the knife into the tents where pandavas were sleeping and he wanted when they were sleeping he wanted to chop them off and kill them he is a brahmana what a genius degraded thought he has got he wanted to he doesn't want to follow the rules and regulation of the war battle so he wanted to go in the dead of the night enter the tents where the pandavas are sleeping and he wanted to kill them when they are sleeping so he entered inside the tent but to his surprise krishna on that day has removed the pandavas from the tent krishna knows that so bhagwan sent the pandavas to a different place who were sleeping the pandavas young infant babies not you know grown up boys 2 year old 3 year old 1 year old infant babies they were sleeping and still this ashwatthama he didn't had any mercy he took to, took his sword and chopped them off like cutting a plantain tree you know it is very easy to cut a plantain tree so like that he chopped the peas could get into pieces not only that he was again and again cutting all the dead bodies into pieces and he tore off the flesh and the whole area was bathed in blood and the blood was flowing out of the tent still his vengeance was not satisfied he came out put lag and put fire to the whole tent all the bodies were burned to ashes panta was got very wild bhima was so angry bhima and arjuna started chasing him he ran away to so many places finally they caught him bhima and arjuna wanted to kill them you know arjuna was so angry he took his bow and arrow bhima took his gada he wanted to beat him kill him literally draupadi came such a great noble lady who already lost five infant babies with full of tears and his upper has the upper garments and all got wet crying and weeping she said oh arjuna bhima don't kill ashwatthama because if you kill him another lady who is her mother will be crying like me don't do this in fact krishna told bhima don't wait don't show mercy you don't have to show mercy to an envious poisonous snake you can kill that even krishna granted he said to kill but draupadi said not to kill so even though ashwatthama was a brahmana by birth by duty what he became shudra lower than 
Ashwatha, became a Shudra. So because of that, Krishna cursed Ashwatthama that you should roam around in this universe for so many years, thousands and thousands of years with all skin disease, you should be roaming. And even today, Ashwatthama is roaming all over Himalayas with all sorts of disease. Battle took place 5,000 years back. Still Ashwatthama is roaming. Krishna got so angry and cursed him because he killed all those infant babies. So we should always protect young children, old people, women and cows. It is the duty of the civilized man to protect us. So when our parents, when our forefathers, when our relatives pass away, it is the responsibility of a human being to go and do the 16 day Shraddha ceremony. That's why we are called the Putra. Putra means a soul who can deliver his parents from a hell called Punnada. If the Putra is not doing that job, then the boy is called Mutra because Putra and Mutra comes from the same source. So it is the responsibility. When the soul leaves the body, it takes 16 days for the soul to reach the court of Yamaraj. As soon as we die, did I explain that here in the class? No. Okay. So as soon as we die, we have nine gates in our body. You know, two, one, like that. We have Navatvare Dure Dehi. This body has got how many gates? Nine gates. Nine gates. So when you die, the soul leaves in one of these gates. The soul leaves. And you can see there will be a small strain of blood near the ear, a drop of blood near the eyes, nose, mouth, down. You may have, you can see that on the body. That means the soul is going to take birth again. Punar Janma is there if he dies by the soul leaving through one of the gates. But for people who are getting liberated, the soul will not leave through this gate, but whereas you have a cap, you have a cap on your head, and it is called Brahma Randra. So at the time, at the final moment, the cap will tuck, it will open, and the soul will leave the body, Punar Jalmana Vidyate, he doesn't take birth again. The soul leaves through the Brahma Randra, which is on your head, you know, as you can see in this picture. You can see the yogi sitting there and the light going out from the top. There is a cap for everybody where the hair doesn't grow. Everybody has got a thing there. It will open, the Brahmarandra will open, somebody is checking whether they have got it. So when we practice spiritual life so nicely, pack it will open and you will go back. But for others, the soul will leave through the gates and there is Punar Chanma. They have to take birth. So what happens, the departed person, the soul, so when the person is on the death bed, okay, you are all listening? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So when the departed soul is lying on the bed, Yamadutas will come. And Bhagavatam explains their beauty, how handsome they are. You know, Yamaduta, they have copper color, red color hair standing like that. Right? When you touch unknowingly electricity, how many of you have got experience? I the current. So many. You know what happens? How the hair stands? Romancha kampa, You all get romancha, right? Ping it will be like so, copper color hair and deep red color eyes and suited black skin, you know. When you make dosa chapati in the house and you forget to take how it will become. The black suit color and fat, fat people and they will come on a buffalo, right? And the living entities, the animals can see the Yamadutas. The cows can see, the dogs can see, the birds can see, all the jiva, except human being, everybody can see. That's why when the death is going to take place, you can see if there is a 
dog in that house, the dog will howl. Mm. Normally dogs bark, you know, pow, pow, pow. It, it, it does, it barks like that. But on that particular day, they won't bark. They will howl like wolves, you know, pow. <laughs> but that's how it is. How many of you have been in a death house when the death is going to take place? No one? Fortunate. Okay, so many. You can see the dogs howl. And cows and bull, if at all is there in your house, they will start running this side that they perfect break the rope. They will just run away from the place. They can see these two people coming and they are so wild, ghastly form. Animals get scared. Not even a single bird will be there. All the birds will fly from the house, from the trees. Nothing will be there. Only bats will stay back. Owls will stay back. Because they are friends. You know, they, are, they have a friendly relation with the young people. Owls and bats will stay. Rest of them alone, all of them will leave. And the dying soul will also see the Yamadutas. You know, he is seeing the two forms, ghastly form, and he knows that is his last moment, right? And the body is like lifted up the bed and it's again and again banging. You know, have you experienced? You can see it is thrown up from the bed. And if at all somebody is standing nearby, that fellow will catch him. You know, he doesn't want to go. And they are throwing the rope up on the soul and they are pulling it out. The soul doesn't want to leave the body. And the whole thing is going on. Sons and da daughters and all will be standing around. They don't know what is happening to the guy. That is called the fear of death. The man is experiencing seeing those people and he knows, I am going to leave my son, leave my daughter, leave my family, leave my money, leave my car, everything. He doesn't want to leave. And he will be snatched away like a tree is uprooted. And the people who are standing around will see and say, Don't worry, Papa, everything will be fine. Nothing will be fine. It's going to go. Right? It's going to go. But we don't know what's happening. That is death. And he will be put on the buffalo and tied on the buffalo. Right? <laughs> and they will be having some stick. And the Yamadudas will be banging him all the time because from Bhumi, you know, Bhumi is like Bhuloka, Bhuvarloka, Svardaloka, Maharloka, Janoloka, Tapuloka, Satyaloka, seven on the top. Atala, Vitala, Sutala, Talatal, Mahatal, Rasatal, Patal. Patal is down. Right? And the court is there. Yamaraj's court is there in Patal. It will take 11 days for a Brahmana to reach. It will take uh, Kshatriya Vaishya Shudra 16 days to reach. Okay? It will take 16 days. They will put the soul on the buffalo and they keep banging, you know, beating him. Right? The Yamadudas will ask him. Okay, last month, November 12th, you spoke this line, you know, take four. Like that. Like last year you did this, no, take another two. Throughout, he will be getting beaten and he will go to the court. So, the sun and the grandsons are expected to do Shraddha this all 16 days. Lord Chaitanya did for his father in Gaya. Sri Ramachandra Murthy did in Sarayu, in uh, Chitrakoot. Everybody did. So we are supposed to do what? The 16 days Shraddha. So when he reaches the court, they will say, you are a sinner, but you have got great son. Because you have got qualified children, you are saved. Your sentence imprisonment will be cut out by another four months. The forefathers who have departed will get some special blessings. And if the sons and the grandsons don't do that, that will turn into a pitil shapa. That will fall as a curse upon us. Right? Right now what is happening? The parents are dead in India and the children are all there in US and this thing. Some of them are in moon. You know, all these places. They can't come back immediately and perform Shraddha. So they come back and what they tell their Pujari? Please finish the 16th day ceremony on the 4th day itself. You know, how to finish the 16th on the 4th? 16 is supposed to be finished on 16 only. But they save money. And what they do? I don't have holiday, I don't get leave, I can't waste my 16 days here. So finish everything by 4 days and he will go back. Right? So Pujari will also take money. 
the pujari and the son both of them will go together <laughs> because you are not supposed to do that right so it is very very important the sons do shraddha for the parents or you should be a completely renounced sanyasi where you don't have to do so devotees also should do it in a vaishnavite way they are supposed to do it in a vaishnavite way okay so this court and judgment and after the judgment then they will see all his good and bad and everything and whatever chitra gupta has written everything because that's why he has got the name chitra gupta gupta means secret 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 whatever the deep secret which you have got in your heart for the last 25 years without even telling your own wife will be known to him he will make a picture out of that chitra he will make a whole thing so there is no secret from chitra gupta he knows everything what are you thinking are you thinking about the prasadam sitting here you know what is everything he will make a picture out of it that's why he is called chitra gupta you can hide nothing from him he will give the whole report to yamaraj then yamaraj will put you in different different cells there are different cells 27 or 21 it is explained in bhagavatam suchi mukha antata mishra tataiva raurava kumbhi paka there are different different cells okay if you have given money for interest and taken interest from people you know people know all the finance thing and all they will be taken in a grand parade and finally they will be put on a wooden plank and two beautiful yamadutas will come pull your skin stretch it and nail it all over the wooden plank and they have got a huge sewing machine you know stitching machine they will come and stitch you on the plank right why don't they have a special machine soul cannot be done anything yeah that's a very good question soul cannot be done anything so when you leave the body you give up that you have now two shariras right what are the two sharira you have got now gross body and subtle body so at the time of death you are leaving only gross body the gross body you are not leaving the subtle body right you are not leaving the subtle body the pain is felt in the gross body or the subtle body if i give you one beating right gross. even though the action is on the gross body but who is expressing the feeling and who is feeling the pain who is mind so mind is in which body subtle body so when you go there they will give you a yadana sharira it is a body just to cover the mind it will be like uh, like if you go to jail you get some uniform there in the same way the soul will get a body so they will break the hand hand will not be broken but the soul will feel the exact pain as though the hand is broken so nothing will happen to your body but you will feel the pain as though it is happened to you it is very dangerous <laughs> so they will stitch the guy on the wooden plank and what mistakes he does you know if he is a non vegetarian eater all the time eating he will be closed in a dark cell right and there will be wild animals like jackals wolf tiger leopard everything crocodile scorpion snakes they will all come by this guy take the long intestine small intestine everything out <laughs> he will not die that's the worst part <laughs> so in this way that yadana sharira yadana means pain your body meant for pain this will go on and on and on and the soul soul will scream saying krishna keshava madhava i will never enter this material world it is promise 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 satyam satyam punar satyam i promise you krishna i promise you krishna i promise i will not come in now please save me sir so near trishur there is a beautiful temple i uh, forgot the name of the temple bilwa bilwa something bilwa something bilwa what the temple's name bilwa tiruvalla tirupur tiruvilva mala ha okay anybody from trishur trishur south vrindavan bhakta jan ki 
All from Trishu. Okay. Where is the managing director? Okay, there is the temple. You know, there is a Ram temple, Vishnu temple there. Once in a year, they open. The temple is open all the time. But there is a cave around the temple. It is opened only once in a year. If you want the experience, you can go. The temple is between Trishur and Shornu in Kerala. Right? So this is a temple. They open a cave once in... How many of you are from Kerala? Quite a lot. None of you know the name? Tiruvillamala? Huh? Ah, Punarjani Temple. Thank you. Your good name, Prabhu? From? Kerala Friend. Trishur. Okay. The temple is called Punarjani Temple. It will be a great thing once in a lifetime you please visit. It is not a holy dam. Any other cards? So many cards. 
chair if you get stuck inside. <laughs> so, but this is how we enter in mother's womb. Every one of us. And we scream out of pain. Sometimes mothers won't cooperate. And you don't come out, you are stuck in between. So we scream and say, Krishna, Krishna, Pati Pati, save me. I will never enter this womb. I will never enter here. Please, please. And that beautiful nurses pull you out. <laughs> when you come out, you forget everything. And they are all standing there. Happy birthday. <laughs> And you think this world is wonderful. Wow, I'm going to have a great life. They forget the whole day. But it is really torture. It's a horrible thing. Right? So, it is my request. If at all you get time. But what, unfortunately, they open that only once in a year. Right? So, if you get time, you should experience it. <laughs> no, don't have to go to At least you visit that place. It is very, that, it's exactly like a mother's home. So this material world is like this. So we have to hold on. Otherwise life is very, very risky and it becomes a big problem. Okay? So anyway. Chaturvarnyam maya srishtam guna karma vibhagasa tasya katharam apimam vidya katharam apiryam. Finally, Ashwatthama was cursed with all this disease. He was originally by birth a Brahmana, but by karma he became a <coughs> Now, we have second example who is Valmiki. He is a, he was a hunter, he was a dacoit, he was a murderer, he was everything. Okay, so he was by birth a Shudra. He was killing people, stealing, torturing them. But by the association of Narad Rishi, he started chanting Rama's name and turned into Brahmana. Not only that, he became the spiritual master for Lord Ramachandra himself. You can imagine from where to where. From a Shudra, he became Guru of the Lord. That too he didn't chant properly. <laughs> so Narad Rishi told him, please chant Rama. He has never heard the sound in his life. All he knows is kill people, loot them, decoy them, do everything. He never heard this two sound, Rama. So when Narada told him to chant Rama, he was chanting Rama. He can't pronounce Rama. Is there anyone having difficulty in chanting Rama here? No. You can easily chant, right? We can sing Rama. But he was not able to say Rama. So Narada is wondering how to convert to this guy now. It's a big problem, right? So it is an art of a preacher to preach any type of person and make him devotee. Because Lord is full of sweetness. Is there anyone here who doesn't like sweet? You don't like sweet? Are you are Akshata. Sorry, huh? So, everybody likes sweet. There's nobody who doesn't like sweet. And Lord is sweet. His talk is sweet. His walk is sweet. His mind is sweet. Everything. Madhura, Tipate, Akilam. Everything about him is sweet. Then why people are not becoming devotees? We are adding salt to it and giving. That is why. Lord is so sweet. When we go and preach, when we are presenting the Lord, what we are doing? We are putting little chili and salt and giving the sweet. Imagine in a glass of nice kheer, some chili powder is dropped. So we make the mistake. So we should also present the Lord of sweetness with full sweet. Then you see everybody will accept. Right? So, here, finally, Narudrishi is wondering how to preach this man now. Because he doesn't chant Rama. Then Narudrishi thought for a while and he said, Okay, what and all you know. Then Valmiki became very inspired. He said, I know killing. I can loot. I can steal. I can torture people. You know? Then when he was saying that, he said, Mara. Mara means to kill, to stab. If you, in Hindi and all, they say, no. In Hindi movies, the villains will come. Usko, martal, ha, 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 ha. You know, Mara. In Sanskrit, Mara means to kill. 
So Narad Rishi told him, okay, you chant. Then he started chanting, Mara, Mara, to kill, to kill, to kill, to kill. And he was chanting, Mara, 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 Mara. Then what happened? Mara. But then there was a transformation in his heart. That deep, wild and devilish, what is a sinner, killer. He turned into a saint. Not only that, he became guru of Ram. He ta started teaching Rama's sons. He started writing about Ram. He became such a great personality, right? All by the association of Krishna. So by birth, he was a Shudra, and by karma, he became a Brahmana, more than a Brahmana. Whereas Ashwatthama, by birth, he is a Brahmana and by karma he became a Shudra. So Chatur Varniya Maya Krishtam Guna Karma Vibhaga Shaha Tartya Kartharam Apimam Vidya Kartharam Apiyayam So our caste and Varna are not decided by birth. It is decided by karma, duty. Okay? So we should be very careful. Sometimes we might have taken birth in some high class family. Right? We should use that opportunity and further progress further. We shouldn't stay and get stuck there only. Right? So sometimes you can see the caste brahmanas in India and all. Right? He will be a Dhanalakshmi bank manager. No connection with puja part only. You know? And in the sacred thread he has got keys and all. It's like acting like leeches. He will put all the things and sometimes he will use it to scratch his back off. Yes. Yes, you can know, really see this thing. This is not meant for that man. It represents the nine qualities of a Brahmana. Samo, Damas, Tapal, Shaucham, Shanti, Rajava, Mevacha, Jnanam, Vijnanam, Astikyam, Brahma, Karma, Svabhavacham. Each thread is representing one one great quality. Tolerance, patience, you know, is using the scratch. <laughs> so, this caste and all is not as per birth, it is as per duty. So how many of you have been to Melkote? Wow, oh, so many. Melkote. There's a beautiful uh, Narsimadeva temple and there is one Narayan temple. It is in between Mysore and Bangalore. Very beautiful temple. It is a hill station also. Ramanujacharya stayed there for a lot of time, in a long years, and he wrote books there. So, there's a beautiful temple and uh, once, as usual, the Sultan from Fatehpur Sikri, the old Delhi and all, the Sultan came and he was on a great mission knocking down all the Hindu temples and breaking. That is his lifetime mission. They were doing the great seva. Even Aurangazir said he broke 5,000 temples in seems. What a great person. <laughs> you know, how many of you been to Radha Govind Mandir in Vrindavan? Radha Govind Ji Mandir, very beautiful mandir. You can see the red sandstone block. You know, one, two, three blocks you can see. Right? You have seen Radha Govind Ji Mandir, very beautiful. Actually, the temple had seven blocks, seven stories. And one day, the Sultan's baby wife, she came and opened the window from her palace. And she saw there was a lamp lit on the Gopura every day. The Pujaris will climb the seventh Gopura and lit a lamp. They will light a lamp there. And she told her husband, Are Sultan, their lamp is above our palace. <laughs> Just to please his wife, she went and knocked down the four rooms. Oh my God, I met him. <laughs> Sultan Ki. <laughs> So these people were on a big campaign to knock down all these beautiful temples. Then Sultan came and broke down the Melkote temple and then he took the deity, beautiful Narayan deity, four-handed form, Shanka Chakra Gatha Padmam, you know. We say now that in Vishnu Sahasrana, what is it? Shanta Akaram Bujagatayanam Padmanavam Sureshanam Vishwaram Gagana 
சதுஷம் மேகவர்ணம் சுபாங்கம் லட்சுமிகாந்தம் கமலநேனம் யோகி வித்யாநகம்யம் வந்தே விஷ்ணு personality then sultan thought somehow his heart you know he felt not to destroy the deity he went back to fatehpur sikri delhi and he gave the deity to his young daughter to play with like a doll so the small baby girl she was playing like you know kids have this barbie doll they carry it at all the time dressed up and all so this girl started playing with this vishnu doll when she is going to sleep she will keep it next to her when she is going to eat she will feed the doll also she will put it in the cradle and rock the baby doll deity all the time that unknowingly this baby girl became so much attached to the deity she will not do anything without the deity whenever she sleeps she wants the deity next to her whenever she is going out she will carry the deity whenever she is eating she will make the deity also sit there then the sultan thought are this is becoming too much now right so he grabbed he snatched the deity from the baby girl's hand and threw it inside that store room and locked <coughs> that time ramanuja charya was in shri parampudu near chennai and he got a dream where the lord is saying ho oh, ramanuja i am now inside a dark store house and i am feeling suffocated here please come and take me and install me back in mail kote so ramanuja charya went all the way to the sultan and he begged the sultan requested him and finally the sultan agreed anyway this deity is doll is creating a lot of problem let me get rid of it he said it is there somewhere in the store house go and take it <laughs> so ramanuja charya went to the store room he opened the store room he started searching for the deity there is no deity and he searched and searched and searched finally he called the deity in tamil you know even today the deity is called like that he called the deity yen sellame you know chellame means my my dear my favorite when he called in chellame the deity jumped and came and came and sat on his lap he was so even today the deity is called as chelvanarayana permal very famous temple there so he got the deity he came back to melkote and installed the deity by the time the sultan's daughter stopped eating stopped doing everything she is literally starving the doctors came physician came they all checked the girl and said better get the doll back otherwise anything can happen to her so sultan came again back to melkote with a huge army entourage his every soldiers ministers they all came to melkote and the girl also came as soon as she saw the deity she ran inside the temple and she became so happy she paid namaskar then she left her body the soul went and entered the deity she is a muslim girl even today if you go to melkote bhagwan is standing narayana is standing next to him there is a small deity of this muslim girl they worshiping all the sri vaishnava pujaris they are all worshiping in fact ramanuja acharya worship this muslim god and today the deity is called tuluknachya bv you know the deity of the name of the deity so where is caste where is janma where is birth nothing it doesn't matter at all the great vaishnava acharya ramanuja worship this muslim god so janmana jayate shudra they are all shudras by birth samskarat pavet dvija by dritting the dvija samskara ved patanti tat vipra by studying scriptures we are vipra brahma gyana titi ramana okay is that very clear govinda jaya jaya kripal jaya jaya radha ramana hari govinda jaya 